Adi, you're wanted on set. There we go. You ready for some good news? Hey, Adi. What, were you up all night catting around again, huh? I sent you a call sheet. Did you even read it? Unbelievable. First up, some good news for people who suffer from potentially life-threatening allergies. Researchers at Australia's University of Queensland are developing a gene therapy that could provide permanent relief from severe allergies after a single treatment. The UQ team was able to reprogram T cells to prevent the immune response that causes an allergic reaction. Research is still ongoing, but the ultimate goal is to provide lifelong relief from the targeted allergy with a single treatment. For this study, the team used an animal model of severe asthma, but the researchers believe the same technique can be adapted to treat allergies to peanuts, shellfish, bee venom, and other allergens that can damage the health and even threaten the lives of millions of people all around the world. The research is published in the journal JCI Insight. Next up, researchers at Leeds Beckett University and Newcastle University have discovered a simple way to protect type 1 diabetes patients from their most common cause of death. The leading cause of death among people with type 1 diabetes is cardiovascular disease. Type 1 diabetes patients are 10 times more likely to develop cardiovascular disease than the general population, but help may be on the way. A preliminary clinical trial found that an additional small injection of insulin administered three hours after eating a high-fat meal resulted in lower blood levels of fat, sugar, and other markers of increased risk for cardiovascular disease. I want to emphasize that this was a small preliminary clinical trial, so it's possible these exciting results won't hold up with further research. Obviously, anyone who takes insulin should consult their doctor before making any alterations in the dosage and frequency of their injections. This study was published in the journal Diabetes and Vascular Disease Research. And finally, an international research team has created a new material that could make cracked screens on smartphones and tablets a thing of the past. Yes, one of the most aggravating of all first world problems may finally have met its match thanks to a combination of graphene, Buckminster fullerene molecules, and hexagonal boron nitride. Put those three ingredients together in just the right way, and you get a metamaterial that's a lot like silicon, but lighter and more flexible, which means more durable and energy efficient electronic devices. More work needs to be done before this material finds its way into the smartphones, tablets, and other devices that have become so ubiquitous in so many of our lives. But thanks to this research, in a few years' time, cracked screen anxiety will trouble us no more. Then we can find some other frivolous problem to worry about. This research is published in the journal ACS Nano. So to recap, a new gene therapy promises to permanently relieve severe allergies with a single treatment. An extra insulin injection might help reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease for type 1 diabetes patients. And a new material could mean we are living in the last days of cracked smartphone screens. Imagine it. <laughs> That's the good news. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron of this channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.